So I forgot my constructions going on next door. Okay. So we'll have to just So I forgot my my uh my my what uh, the, the 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 shower mat. You know the the mat you get out of you, you put your footsie footsies on on the the, the, the soft the soft soaky soakum, you know? Yeah, throw one of those on your desk when you're recording. Uh, we've got the construction going on. You know, I thought that I was going to actually get... I was hoping that 2018 was going to be a calm year of normal high... Of normal high-level, high-grade podcasting, but apparently not. No, I'm not going to sit around and wait all day for it to be quiet. I'm, I've, I've been working all day on stuff. I can't wait anymore. I've got stuff to do. 2018 is shaping up to be a very interesting year. I actually feel like it's a different year. I... You ever had that feeling like everyone's talking about how the new year is it's, it's it's new and you're like it's just you know it's another no it's not new it doesn't I mean have you ever had that feeling everyone's hyping up that the year is new and they're going to just change everything it's like if a number does that for you why don't you just make up your own calendar and give yourself a new big number every day Have you ever had that feeling I I do I've had it every year all my life at, at, at about January 1st and 2nd and December 30th, you know, except this year. I don't know what it is, but something feels like 2018 is just going to be really different. Like it really is a different thing. Like there really is a new start. I've never had that before. So that was interesting. I just typed into the, okay. No, I no. While I was doing the other uh, the, the 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 things at the times, I forgot my 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 shower pad that I put on my desk, and so it sounded echoey. We'll we'll see if anybody notices. Well, I, no, George, I'm not off topic. I, this is this is reality podcasting. I'm here to tell people about the normal problems that I have because, as Phil Keggy sang, I have days like you, stuck in the mud, feeling the blues. These days, just I forget how. We, I don't know what it is. He's saying something. It's not like... Anyhow, if you haven't listened to Phil Keggy, you should. I have days like you. You should go look at... You know, actually, is interesting. Phil Keggy. Factoid for you. Probably nobody knows this except Phil. And, and maybe his producer and his wife and his, maybe his kids. He wrote that song after meeting me. I, no, I'm serious, George. He was at the Moody Bible Institute performing for the homecoming. I don't know what they call it. If it's, it's like a homecoming thing. I don't know if they call it that or not. They, they do the same thing and then change the name for it to Christianize it. But it... Uh, more noise. Okay. So they do the same thing. And Phil Keggy was there performing at whatever they call their homecoming thing. And it was just him and a guitar loop. And it was awesome. And I was, I went to the concert and I love Phil, I learned to love Phil Keggy in high school. And I was catering. We took him a fruit plate before the show, which he didn't eat. And after the show, I think everyone was lining up or somewhere to, to greet him, the people that had invited him to go there. And, you know, people were giving him gifts and, um, I mean, like it was, no, it was this guy gave him a painting. I won't describe it, but it was a piece of artwork. It was really good. Um... He's a kid sitting on a bed dreaming of a car, I think it was. He was having big dreams, something like that. It was, it was some sort of a, of a personal thing. Anyhow, so Phil came over to me, and, and I held out my, my catering glove, and I asked him to sign it with his Sharpie. I said, would you sign my glove? And, and, he, and, and my, my fellow classmates don't even know who Phil Keggy is. I mean, Jimi Hendrix said Phil Keggy. I mean, do you know this? They asked Jimi Hendrix on TV, what's it feel like to be the best guitar player in the world? And he said, I don't know. You'll have to ask Phil Keggy. That's Phil Keggy. You know, you got to know this. I wouldn't be talking about Phil Keggy if he wasn't this awesome. So he signed my glove and he looked at me with these big wide eyes because he's really short, if you don't know. And he said, we'll see how, he said, we'll see how long it takes for the doctor to cut it off. I took the glove off right away. I still have it with the ticket. And it wasn't long after that that Phil Keggy wrote the song. I mean, it was the one about Vincent Van Gogh, and he had that song, I Have Days Like You. And I just wonder if I helped inspire it. I just wonder. If so, I deserve it. That's not the song that you want to brag about inspiring. So I do have days. And I had one of those days. My voice is gone. I, I woke up at 3.40 this morning and have had no... I couldn't sleep. I've been going all day long. 
And I forgot to put my shower mat on my table, and it's the beginning of the next year. And this is how the next year is starting. Well, despite it all, I'm not redoing the podcast. I'm not redoing the recordings from, from, the, t- from the podcast over at the Times. I'm, I'm not... I'm, I, the, the construction outside my door has stopped, but I'm not going to go back and redo the podcast. I'm, I'm going to be real this year. This year is going to be real. I had a very... Why do I feel like this is going to be a new year? Um, just before the new year, something got into me. You remember the last podcast, I think I mentioned that I had been doing Blender for like 24 hours randomly, doing 3D design. And now, this last week, I went and did this thing, this online code learning game type of a community thing called Solo Learn. You've got to check out Solo Learn, like Han Solo's name. And, and I hope that I'm allowed to say that without... Okay, legal hasn't gotten to us on that, so I'm on my own with that. Solo, S-O-L-O, sololearn.com. And I just did a bunch of programming language introductions and, and got, a, got like six certificates from it all. It's, it's really, really something. And those are finished and up and going. And I just studied a bunch of programming languages out of, out of the blue. Just I'm just going to learn them all. So I don't know what it is. I actually do feel like something new is coming. And it's not just economics, and it's not just politics, and it's not just seeing what's happening. I really feel like something is like really going to be different in 2018. The most recent thing I've been working on is, is getting uh, a different operating system called Ubuntu to work on my Sony phone. That's my latest project. I haven't got there yet, but I got a bunch of stuff done. And I have an announcement. I'm changing the way we do the video titles at the times, specifically times when I do the the podcasting videos for Facebook and YouTube. I have this different name that I give them, and I'm going to be giving them the same name from now on. Just thought I'd tell you that. Well, no, I took a break over the holidays. I did not do a podcast uh, during Christmas week. I I decided not to. Uh, Maybe it's just an ethical thing. You're not supposed to do that. Well, I don't know. Email me. Tell me how your Christmas went. What are you What are you planning for the next year? Seriously, email me. Message me on Twitter or something. If 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 I get, I'll read it. Why not? What are you, What are you doing in 2018? I actually. Do you feel like it's a new year? I feel like it's going to be a new year. I'm uh, just trying to be productive. Play less. I'll play harder, but waste less. St- less entertainment. More skate park stuff. Uh. Well, skate park's a skill. I'm tipping up breakdancing, doing some breakdancing practice stuff. We'll see. Keep improving. Keep improving your life. Keep going. Keep, keep at it. Don't quit. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say. Just, you know, I saw Star Wars over the holidays. Uh, who didn't? Don't do a Luke Skywalker. Don't, don't go off and hide your skills. The world needs whatever you've got keep going keep learning keep setting you know take breaks when you need to but don't go off and hide like a recluse because you feel bad about whatever happened here or there keep going and contribute the best you can to whatever you do because the world needs that from you and i'm just going to get to the point Usurpers see the masses as mere numbers to exploit to gain populist support for what they want. Tyrants and manipulative bosses don't view people as intelligent and personally responsible for their choices. They see the masses as programmable by propaganda and nothing more. If the masses disagree with the tyrant, the tyrant blames the propagandists. That's the paradigm of a psychopath. But God views all people as personally accountable for their choices. His view is a stark contrast to that of the tyrant. These different leadership worldviews make the difference in failure and success. It's a matter of respecting everyone. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Happy 2018.